welcome back to another vlog it is currently wednesday afternoon i just got home from running some errands i went and got my nails done this color is called gothic plum it's from luxa polish because i know somebody's gonna ask it's just like a super deep purple almost like a bluish purple like looks black in some lighting purple in some lighting blue in some lighting i don't know i was just feeling it and i asked her to go a little bit sharper with the tips so it's giving real witchy vibes which i love and then i stopped at cosmoprof walmart and the mail room so let's do a little haul so the package that i got i got some water filters for my water pitcher because i was out of those i got these adapters which this is actually perfect because i'm going to be recording my podcast in a couple hours this is just an adapter so i can plug in my usb microphone into my laptop because the one that i had broke so the last few episodes we recorded my audio was not good then this is very exciting too i got this little microphone that connects to your phone so when i'm getting my instagram and tiktok content i can use this and it has a little clip so i can wear it and get good audio of myself talking while i'm at the salon that way i don't have to worry about it picking up like background noise and the music and all of that or when i'm recording voiceovers so i'm very excited for that and then i got a bunch of groceries at walmart i put all of that away already but I also got some more Nivea cream while I was there because I have been all out. So happy. I love this stuff so much. And then from Cosmo Prof. Oh, it was so nice. Like usually when I go into Cosmo Prof or Salon Centric, I will usually stop there like on my way to work or I'll just have like a certain thing that I'm going in for. And I purposely don't allow myself to peruse the aisles because you can end up spending a lot of money. But today I was like, you know what, I have the time. Like, let me just look around and see what they have and see if they have any deals going on or anything like that. I also, the main reason I went there is because I am going to be coloring my hair. I mean, this is getting so grown out. It's crazy. And I'm just over the copper. Like, I did like it at first, but I'm ready to change it up. So I am going to give myself a balayage. I got my color for that i was originally gonna get wella because i'm you know a wella girl went to a wella school that's just my favorite color but then i saw these paul mitchell xg cremas on sale for two dollars i don't know if they're discontinuing these or what the deal is but i was like two dollars the wella a tube of color same size was 12 and change this was two dollars okay and like even the cheapest color lines nowadays i feel like are like around eight dollars for this amount of color so two dollars is a steal and i used to use this specific color line at my old salon actually so i'm pretty familiar with it so i got five seven one or five ba which is an ash brown for my base color and then i got eight p eight eight six for my highlights toner so i'm excited for that i also got some more developers some five volume and i'm gonna record a separate video too like a tutorial when i do the process and break it down step by step so don't you worry i will be doing that and then i got this gel polish from kiara sky in the shade snow bunny which looks like it's just a creamy white like their version basically a funny bunny by opi which is my go-to color that's what i had on my nails before this i love it i always end up doing that on my nails this was 12 dollars. opi is 20 so hopefully this will be a very similar shade then this is so exciting i have been seeing this color wow stuff everywhere but i haven't tried it on myself yet so i got just a travel size of the dream coat which i think this is like their most popular product it says it magically transforms texture amazing humidity proofing powers and my hair gets real frizzy and with summer coming i'm really excited to try this and then i saw that they had this as well 
Dream Coat for Curly Hair. Miracle Moisture Mist creates the perfect frizz-free curls. I was a little worried that these were basically the same product, but it doesn't seem like they are. This says, it's a weightless moisturizing spray. It replaces sticky gels, slimy serums, heavy creams. Just spray and air dry for perfectly bundled frizz-free curls. And I am all out of the curl cream that I've been using, so I needed some more product for when I wear my hair curly, so I thought this would be interesting to try, so... Yeah, I am so excited. I love getting new products and trying new things. And I'm excited to do my hair because I feel like this was my winter hair. I'm excited to have my summer hair. And I wanna do it now because my birthday is in the beginning of June. And since it's gonna be kind of a color correction situation, I don't know how perfect it's gonna be after the first time. So I'm gonna do it now. And then that way I can like refresh it and perfect it in time for my birthday. Anyway, I am gonna make myself some lunch and then I will check back in with you when it's time to record the podcast. We are gonna read a few posts from the Reddit thread, True Off My Chest. Good morning, or no, it's afternoon now. I was just responding to emails and like Instagram stuff this morning, took a shower, washed my hair because it was super greasy and I'm gonna color it in a little bit. So I wanted to make sure there wasn't any product or you know excess oil in it and i'm just kind of letting it air dry as much as possible and while i've been waiting for that i am attempting to make the starbucks egg bites and i found a whole bunch of different recipes and they were all a little bit different so i am trying two different methods and i kind of improvised and guessed a little bit so i have some that i am cooking in a water bath and these actually look pretty good so these are going to be a little bit bigger and then i have these in the oven in also a water bath that's the key i think but i just did five eggs a cup of cottage cheese salt pepper some gruyere cheese and turkey bacon i blended everything except the turkey bacon in the blender that's the other key to get it like nice and frothy and then I just cut up the turkey bacon and just put that in with it. I'm just keeping an eye on it because I also don't know how long it has to cook for. And they look exactly like the Starbucks ones. I'm so excited. So that's going to be really yummy. I got all my stuff set up over here to do my hair. Once the egg bites are done cooking, I'm going to take them out and let them cool, do my hair. And then while my hair is processing, I will eat. So, like I said, I'm gonna do a separate tutorial, but I will show you how the egg whites turn out. Okay, my color is currently processing. It looks crazy. Here's how my egg whites are looking. These are the ones that I made in the pot, in the cups. Let's do a little taste test. Oh my God, this is them. Mm. It's so good. The bacon is throwing it off a little bit because I just used turkey bacon and the Starbucks ones have real bacon. Now let me try the ones from the oven. So. Mm hmm Hello, it is the next morning. I got my new order from Scentbird and I am so excited. I know I, I gotta show you the new hair. We'll talk about that too, but. I am just dying to smell these scents. And Scentbird is kindly sponsoring this portion of the vlog, so thank you so much to them. If you're unfamiliar with Scentbird, they're a fragrance subscription service. So if you have ever purchased a perfume before and after you wore it a couple times, you just didn't really like it, or maybe you smell a perfume on someone else and it smells amazing on them, and then you get it for yourself and it just doesn't mix well with like your natural pheromones and it just, it's not it. That's what makes Scentbird so great. It's a subscription service that allows you to try a brand new designer fragrance every month for just $17 and you get a 30 day supply. So they come in these cute little vials. I also love that they have these covers that can lock. So if you're throwing this in your purse, traveling with it, I always do that. If I'm going to be traveling, 
I will always bring one of my Scentbird perfumes because it's just the perfect size. But you can lock it into place so you don't have to worry about any fragrance spilling in your bag. And then you just easily turn it to unlock it. I am all about smelling good, especially as a hairstylist, being like very close to my clients all the time. I need to make sure my scent is on point and i just love getting to try out new fragrances so i got four new ones this time the first one i got is i love your smell baby by dime i mean hello how could that be bad the notes are sandalwood peach raspberry rose and amber right up my alley and i love that they send you these cards that show you the fragrance what the full size bottle looks like and then on the back you get all the information about the fragrance the notes the ingredients Oh, that's all so good. I already can tell that's gonna be one of my favorites. Then I got Extra Milk by Dead Cool. This one is Amber, Bergamot, and White Musk. Oh, that one's really, really subtle. And it has like a unisex kind of smell. It is good, but honestly, I prefer something that's a little more potent. Then we have Dirty Coconut by Heretic. I don't know if I'm saying that right. This is Coconut, Sandalwood, Vanilla, and Cedar. Oh my god, so good. Love that. So summery. It just reminds me of like going to the beach and being on vacation. And then the last one that I got is Rose Delice. Date? I don't know if I'm saying that right. <laughs> From Edenist. Could be butchering that as well. Oh my god, that smells good. It is mandarin oil, lychee, rose, musk, and vanilla. The first word that comes to my mind is just pretty. Like it's just, it's a pretty girl fragrance. But definitely the dime, I love your smell baby is my favorite. This is, mm, this is gonna be the one I wear today. It's cool that Sunbird has so many different fragrances. Perfumes, colognes, unisex, there's something for everyone. And like I said, Scentbird is normally $17 a month, but with my code, you can get 55% off, which will make your first month about $8. Make sure to check the description and click my link, or you can scan this QR code and then use my code SAMVEY55 off to get 55% off your first month at Scentbird. And thank you again to Scentbird for working with me. So yeah, the hair here. It is, but I will say that freaking copper was so stubborn. So I did a bunch of foils for the highlights, obviously, and then everything in between, I put a dark color. Like, look at that. Like, there are some spots where it is still freaking copper. And I put a really dark brown. I did an ash level five, which if you're a hairdresser, normally when I do that color on my hair, it is really dark and I thought that that would be enough to cover and I didn't want to do a color remover first and pull the copper out completely because I figured like my hair needs some copper in it to fill anyway right so I thought it would cover fine and I did it on dry hair used a cream demi and uh yeah De it depends on the lighting that you look at it in like in indoor lighting it just looks brown but when i go up to the window you can definitely see the copper in there still and then i'm almost like ooh, like the copper with the blonde it's kind of giving kelly clarkson early 2000s which is not my favorite but overall it is definitely less copper and it's just a more natural low maintenance color so i'm gonna just leave it for a little bit luckily it still feels super super healthy anyway today is going to mostly just be a work from home day i have a lot of editing that i need to do i'll update you throughout the day i have been sitting at the dining table, wrapped in a blanket, editing and answering emails for the last couple of hours. But now I need to step away. I just like, ugh. I don't know, some days I can sit at my computer literally all day and I can edit like two videos in a row. And then other days I have to just do like chunks at a time. I can't like stare at a screen. But let's take a little lunch break. 
here is my salad. I am gonna go sit on the couch and eat this while I watch more of my show. My boyfriend got me hooked on the show Fallout. I started watching it last night and I already only have two episodes left of the season. It's really good. It's on Amazon Prime, so if you're looking for something new to watch, I'll check in with you later. Good morning. It is Saturday. I am working at the salon today, so I'm getting ready to go do that. And I'm excited. Yesterday, I was like really looking forward to today. I'm just being in the salon and doing hair and it's such a good feeling because you know like when I first moved to North Carolina I took almost a year break from doing hair and I honestly wasn't sure if I was gonna go back to doing it or not because I just felt burnt out and I, I don't know I wasn't sure if I was still passionate about it but it's been about a year and a half now that I have been back at it and I started out just doing like clients occasionally like on the occasional Saturday so I eased into it but now I'm at the point where like next week I am gonna be taking clients four days and that's the amount that I worked like back when I was doing hair full time and it's just a good feeling like I've always loved doing hair but it just sucks when like that passion isn't there anymore. Cause like, that's not something that you can fake or force, you know? So today I have two clients. My first one, I did her hair several months ago, but that should hopefully just be like a pretty quick, straightforward appointment. And then my second client, she's gonna be there for a while. And I'm really excited to meet her. She said she's been watching me for a while. She's coming from four hours away. She's coming in for a big transformation, a color correction basically. And I'm a little bit nervous because she filled out one of my hair forms and she has kind of an extensive hair history. So I'm hoping that her hair feels good and lifts well. That's the thing that's kind of tricky. You can't really know the condition of the hair just from looking at it in pictures. You gotta see it in person and feel it and all that, do a test strand sometimes. I'm wearing one of those new perfumes, the rose one. Okay, here is my outfit. I haven't decided what shoes I wanna wear, but these, it looks like a skirt, but it's actually pants. I got these at a little boutique when I was in Italy, so can't link them unfortunately but they're just so fun and they're so comfy and then this shirt <laughs> i also can't link i had got it on etsy years ago but i can't find this anywhere now i have a feeling they probably got in trouble for copyright so this isn't available anymore but uh this is the outfit and i decided to pull my hair back in a low bun and i'm gonna wear these earrings because i am just obsessed with them can't remember the name of the brand, but I found these at TJ Maxx. I think I'm gonna wear combat boots with this. These are from H&M. Okay, there is the full completed outfit. I'm gonna go now. I need to put some gloss on my lips, but I will see you at the salon. Okay, I was a terrible vlogger this day. What else is new? But my first client was just in for gray root coverage, touch up, and a haircut didn't get any after clips and then this was my second client so all of that dark color you see on the top is virgin hair but it is very dark like practically black and then on the ends her hair was super blonde then she colored it red then removed the red then put a brown color on top so it's been through a lot I did a full head of little tiny foils. I was literally foiling her hair for four hours. Those ends were really fragile and they would only lift so far. So they kind of got to a point where it was starting to get a little compromised. So we had to just kind of stop and leave it where it was and tone from there. So I did a root smudge and a gloss and this was her final hair, but hopefully when she comes back in another couple of months, we will be able to get her to her ultimate goal of being really blonde. Hey, it's the next day. Sorry I didn't end up vlogging that much yesterday. My second client was a 
big undertaking. It was a color correction and I don't know if it translated on camera because honestly even when I was like first looking at her hair you don't realize like how much she actually had but she kept telling me like I have a lot of hair it's gonna take a long time and she was so amazing. So Emily if you're watching it was so lovely meeting you and hanging out with you and doing your hair. I think we were both feeling pretty delirious by the end of it, but um, it was fun. Her hair was like at the point where I couldn't push it anymore. It was starting to break off on the ends, like the last couple inches. So I was like, mm, let's just leave it where it's at and tone it from here and then do some Olaplex treatments, let it heal for a little bit, and then we can do another session in a couple of months and hopefully be able to get her really blonde because all her virgin hair lifted beautifully. Like I did really, really thin foils. It was beautiful, but the ends where she had that previous color, it was just being really stubborn. It's funny though, my hands today, cause like I didn't wear gloves, I should have, but I was like pulling foils out and like got so much bleach on my hands and normally when I do that with just like a normal full foil, it's like not a big deal. But when you're doing it with that much bleach, it really like dried out my hands. And my hands like feel really stiff today. I don't know. It's weird, but I've just been stretching and those color corrections, they're fun, but they are not for the faint of heart. <laughs> but this morning I went to the mall because I had placed a Bath and Body Works order. I got some more wallflowers and I know, I know people are like, they're toxic, they're not good. I like them. So, and my dog doesn't go anywhere near them. So it, it's fine, teach their own. I got a bunch of wallflowers cause they were on sale. And then while I was there, I stopped into Altered State and Gap. I just went straight to the clearance section. Cause I was like, I just want to look and see what they have, but I'm not looking to, like, I don't need more clothes. And you know, I'm not really looking to spend a lot of money, but if I see something in the clearance section, that's a good, sale you know why not so i got this shirt from altered state which is such a good staple um just a white collared shirt i feel like you can i don't know for me anyway i feel like i can never have enough of these because you can wear them in so many different ways like over a dress just with some jeans any kind of pants a skirt you can wear it unbuttoned and just kind of like layer it over stuff but this one kind of has almost like not full on balloon sleeves, but a little bit. So it just makes it a little bit more interesting and it is kind of cropped. And it's just like a nice loose, like kind of slouchy fit. And it was on sale for like 12 bucks. So, and it's like a nice soft material too. So got that at Altered State. And then in the clearance section at Gap, granted I know we're going into summer now, so I probably won't be wearing these anytime super soon, but I found these faux leather cargo pants. How cool are these with the pocket on the side? And I tried them on and they're so flattering. Like they just kind of flare out a little bit in the hip area so it makes you look really hourglassed. And it's like a little bit loose around the ankle but not like super flared and baggy. I don't know, I just thought they looked really flattering on me and they have a little bit of stretch to them. So they're really comfy and I, love faux leather everything originally these were 90 dollars they were on sale for 13 and then i had a four dollar off like rewards so i got these like with tax and everything for 10 bucks not even like nine something hello like you cannot beat that i consider that a win but yeah it's sunday and i am planning on staying home it's a really really nice warm sunny day out so i have the balcony door wide open i do have editing that i need to do so i've just been sitting on the couch doing a little bit of that oh and i finished that show fallout so good i really hope they release another season i mean the way they set it up like there's so much more story to follow so hopefully they have multiple seasons and then last night when i got home from work i started watching baby reindeer on netflix it's just a mini series and i finished that this morning also so good such an interesting story and it's based on a true story which makes it even more interesting and the guy who it all happened to 
who's the writer and creator, is also the actor. Like, he plays himself in the show. So interesting and entertaining. It's, like, sad some parts and, like, a little bit of a thriller, but it's also funny. Like, it's just so good. So if you're looking for show recommendations, those are two for you. Fallout on Amazon and Baby Reindeer on Netflix. But yeah, I think the rest of my day is gonna be pretty boring. A lot of me just sitting here like this. So I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for the tutorial on this hair color. Should be my next video. And I'll see you soon. Bye.